there's about 50 bags of cocaine and the estimated street value of the cocaine that they seized is somewhere between 250 million and half a billion dollars. America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and defeat this enemy, it is necessary to wage a new all-out offensive. I have asked the Congress to provide the legislative authority and the funds to fuel this kind of an offensive. The war on drugs is now in its fourth decade. What began as a domestic government policy has now shifted towards a global strategy as America became the largest consumer of cocaine. In response to that demand, Colombia emerged as the world's primary supplier of cocaine. At the height of its operations, Colombian cartels were producing 80% of the world's coke. The word cocaine itself had become synonymous with Colombia. Then, backed by US funding and military support, the Colombian government declared its own war on drugs. And the cartels responded by killing judges, police officers, and civilians. The violence became so bad that the U.S. even further increased its efforts to combat narco traffickers in Colombia. You know, over the last couple of decades, we've spent a lot of money and expended a lot of resources fighting the drug war and uh, felt like we were getting nowhere. And then President Uribe was elected and he had the political will and the strength to actually fight the fight to the nth degree and it was incredibly successful. And now Colombia is one of the shining stars, but before we you know, break out the champagne bottles. The production has shifted, you know, from Colombia to other places in the region like Peru. This is the classic example of something experts call the squeezing of the balloon effect. You crack down on drugs in one country and it just pops up somewhere else. So while politicians and law enforcement are touting Colombia as a success, Peru, with its large swath of ungoverned territory, has emerged as the world's largest producer of cocaine. There are now over 60,000 hectares of coca plantations in Peru, capable of producing up to 340 tons of cocaine every year. This is a stunning figure and represents a seismic change in international narco trafficking. I'm at the headquarters of the Peruvian Police Forces Special Operations Command. Uh, behind me is the largest seizure of cocaine in Peruvian history. It's 7.7 tons. So the Peruvian police have come out here to show all of Peru how successful they've been in their counter-narcotics effort. Va a proceder a incinerar 8,428 kilos que comprende pasta básica de cocaína. So this is the seizure right here. Each one of these bags is about 20 kilos. This one's 18. This one's also 18 kilos, and they take these drugs right here, this cocaine right here, and they throw it in that incinerator, burns it up in smoke. The Peruvian government claims they're succeeding in the fight against drug production. We met with Alberto Otorola, head of DeVita, the Peruvian police's anti-drug unit. How much cocaine does Peru produce every year? Algunos especialistas sostienen que el rango de producción va de 300 a 320 toneladas métricas por año de cocaína. En el gobierno tenemos la percepción de que a partir de 2011 esta producción ha disminuido gracias a, a tres políticas muy claras del presidente Humala. En primer lugar, una política de erradicación de cultivos de coca ilegal. Lo segundo, se ha mejorado la interdicción. Eh, y luego el tercer factor eh, son, eh, digamos, en lo que denominamos otro éxito del gobierno, en la promoción de los cultivos alternativos. Donde antes existía coca ilegal, ahora hay café y cacao. En consecuencia, este es un hecho contundente porque por primera vez en más de 12 años la curva de sembrado de hoja de coca ha bajado radicalmente en el país. No quiere ser un país este, que sea asignado como productor de coca ni de cocaína. While the Peruvian government is telling us they're winning the war on narco-trafficking, 
The United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime is telling us a much different story about Peru's ability to mass produce cocaine. Up until the mid 90s, uh, the cocaine paste produced in this country was mostly being taken to Colombia for processing through an air bridge. Since then, the production is taking place primarily in the country. We're looking at a business which has employed uh, 50,000 families, uh, but we're looking not only at families involved here, we're looking at uh, the towns that have basically been created to support, at the service level, uh, a lot of the production. The UN has been tracking production throughout the jungles of Peru, but they've also been looking at the distribution routes using aerial surveillance to find clandestine airstrips in a prime coca growing region known as the Vrai. The airstrips are used to smuggle drugs from the Vrai to the world. Uh, we're looking at some of the coca areas in the Vrai. These are aerial uh, images that we're taking as we fly at about a thousand meters altitude. We're looking at landing strips that were recently made. Um, the bush has been cleared. Um, you've got tracks here that are between seven, 600 and 700 meters. So you're looking at uh, uh, two engine planes possibly leaving from this area. As a matter of fact, back in 2011, while we're doing the monitoring work, we picked up uh, nine landing strips. You know, they're not legal. A year on afterwards, we were already up to over 50. And in 2013, we're up to almost 70. The Vrai is a fertile region in the center of Peru. It's estimated that there are more than 26,000 hectares of cocoa farms in the Vrai, capable of producing more than 200 tons of cocaine every year. The Vrai is now a centerpiece in the government's war on drugs. Peru's military efforts to stem the proliferation of cocaine at the source is modeled after similar US-backed efforts in Colombia. We decided to leave Lima and travel over the Andes to see the government's anti-drug policies firsthand. Drug trafficking in this region is just a game of cat and mouse. You build an illegal airstrip in the jungle, uh, the authorities find it, they disable it, you build it somewhere else. This is very good coca. See, 